afternoon guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Hopefully your week has gone pretty smooth. If not, the weekend's pretty much right around the corner, so look forward to that. On to today's video, we got the tow rig back in here. If you remember a little while ago, we replaced the seat cushion on the tow rig and we were gonna check back in and let you guys know exactly how all that was going. We drove about five hours today for work and I can report back that the seat cushion is doing very, very well. My hiney is definitely liking it. The left cheek with all that additional support, we, we are good to go. So seat cushion is checked off the list, good to go. And what I mentioned previously was that we were gonna have some more relatable material going on in the interior that is pretty much a very, very popular question that I get asked. I've been waiting to replace these and get that stuff in. So we've been waiting for quite a while on the replacement, but we're talking about seat covers today, guys. Most truck guys run seat covers. I'm gonna go over exactly what I have in this truck. I've had the same seat covers in this truck since I got it, probably five, six, maybe even seven years I've had them that long so there's some pros there's some cons I'm gonna go over what I have why I like them why I don't like them and then show you the new ones and then we're gonna to get to installing those and give you guys my opinion on that as well so let's get into it first thing I want to mention real quick right off the bat is Wrenchworks. One quick Wrenchworks mention, uh, you guys know that we have these gray and black hats. They are back in stock. We actually reworked them a little bit. We changed up some of the coloring, tightened up the uh, decal, some of the stitching on it, and they are back in stock. So go check them out, wrenchworks.com. Let's get into the seat cover. So the seat covers that I have on here and I've had on here for quite a long time, they are from the original Seat Saver by Covercraft. I think, I'm pretty sure I actually purchased these from Gino's Garage. I'm not exactly sure, but I know you can get them from there. I will show you guys their description of them. So let's get into some of the pros on these specific units. I guess the biggest pro is they've lasted this long. I mean, seat covers, even the new ones I was reading through them a little bit, they warranty them for about two or three years, and that's pretty much it. Now, these have doubled the life of that, so durability, and these have been washed, washed multiple, multiple times. As you can see, we got some staining from eating in the truck. Same goes on the other side just a little bit. Other than that, the fit on these things is actually really, really nice as well. These are a one piece, uh, so the top and the bottom are one piece. They're actually connected down below here with some Velcro, kind of wraps around here, wraps around there, and then this section actually comes through right through here, as you can see. So these are one piece and they came with the headrest. Now, let's get into some of the negatives that have caused me to replace these and what I really didn't like about these specifically. First thing being the color on them, I'm pretty sure, and I'll show you guys the Geno's description, I'm pretty sure I picked the right color. They're a lighter gray and they look a little bit more tan. They almost match this color more than they match this color. So that was the one thing that I was really never happy about and that might have been and probably is maybe my mistake that they don't match. Maybe I picked the wrong one, who knows. So I, I never really liked that they didn't match that darker gray as opposed to the lighter gray. Second thing being, um, we over time developed a little tear and I actually had to retake this clip and I was showing you guys that, oh, I just ripped them, but uh, the small rip right here was one of the main reasons why I wanted to replace them just to kind of protect this edge and especially now that we have our new seat cushion. So this rip wasn't actually that big. I did that in another clip. So anyway, moving on to probably the biggest annoyance that I found with this specific seat cover and uh, besides the tear I would have replaced them even if they had no tears I, I probably would have been replacing these because this is so annoying when you get up you jump in you slide in these what these do you can you can the elastic on the bottom here which kind of keeps this tight wrapped around the bottom of the seat base let me put this down the elastic around the bottom of this seat base right here has just over time lost its elasticity is that how you correctly say that I'm, you know you know me and words i mean sometimes we get along sometimes we don't but that they've just become loose and every time you jump in the truck even though you try and clear them seeing that i don't have steps on this truck you end up sliding a little bit and they come up and you got to readjust them and then your seat gets all messed up this and that i know real real problems here but again something that was very very annoying to me and kept happening on the passenger side passengers would jump up into here not used to it they would get like that they would slide and then before you know it they're like why is my seat going up so this side also getting stretched 
out a little bit as well. No tears on this side. Again, these have been washed multiple, multiple times and have withstood uh, machine washing tons. So overall, these have been really, really good to me. I cannot complain uh, for lasting this long. And this elastic problem really has just been happening, I would say, within the last year or so. So still well beyond exactly what they recommend. Anyway, removing these is gonna take about two seconds. All we're gonna do is undo these two Velcro straps. That will pull out. We gotta pull off the headrest here. Once we pull off the headrest, this thing to undo the front of it is just gonna slip over top of this. I don't need to explain to you guys how to take off seat covers. That's a little ridiculous. But after we're done with that, let's check out the new ones. I did forget that I wanted to show you guys the Geno's Garage link for these. Here's the three colors, the wet sand, the gray or black. Now I'm pretty sure that I did order the gray. I would not order the tan and you can see the color of the tan. Mine's even a little bit darker than that. So I believe that is the gray color that we picked. Now, Let's get back into this. Biggest thing that everybody wants to know, look at the price, $156. So bang for your buck. Now I know there are tons and tons of different seat cover options. This is my opinion on the ones that I've already had and doing about two seconds of research if there was anything better than what I currently had. So that's what we went with. I know there are plenty of even cheaper options that are probably maybe just as good or not. But feel free to leave a comment down below on what you thought that has worked the best and make sure you guys are giving this video a big thumbs up for me I appreciate it anyway let's move on to the new ones the new ones are from marathon seat covers now this material does feel a little stiff now I'm sure that's just because it's new but it does feel nowhere near as broken in as the old ones. So we're gonna get this installed. We're gonna try and break this in. One thing I do wanna mention right off the bat is that the bottom and top are in two separate covers. It looks like they use quite a bit more Velcro to strap these things down. I did opt for the pockets in the back, which look good, and the center console cover, which the other ones I believe came with too, I just never really put on. So we're gonna try and put this on uh, definitely multiple pieces here are the headrest covers but this color and one th nice thing about marathon is they sent me uh, swatches because the light gray and the dark gray kind of had me a little confused and I didn't want to pick the wrong color again so they did send me out samples and I picked one that was definitely much closer to this bottom gray color now it doesn't look like it's an exact match but definitely definitely quite a bit darker than the originals kind of see it's a little bit closer to the actual dash color anyway let's get these pulled off let's get the new ones installed and i will go over my thoughts and opinion now i will say this right off the bat these marathon seat covers were about double the price of those so i am hoping that i like these double as much as i like those and i'm not sure that i will but i'm going to give you guys my honest opinion on these going forward so anyway let's get these popped in here we'll go from there So I was just gonna put the whole entire seat on and then show you guys, but there's some little details that I don't wanna forget about at the end. So I'm gonna stop here and kinda explain to you a little bit about each piece that I'm finding as I'm doing this. Now, my biggest thing with the other ones, they were one piece. I didn't have to worry about crumbs and stuff kinda getting in the crack, uh, but it looks like this flap here does pull through you kind of squeeze it back there. One thing I will note is everything is fitting very, very tight. It looks like once everything is Velcroed, kind of like this headrest, this headrest is really, really tight. And the way it attaches underneath with these Velcro straps, once that is all the way down, let me try and put it all the way down with one hand. Come on. Okay, once it's down all the way, if you go around the back here, you cannot see where the Velcro attaches underneath here, which is really, really nice. Same thing with the back. Everything looks like on the back is fitting very well. The hole is lining up for the uh, the lumbar support. So I'm assuming that these Velcro straps are gonna come through and I'm gonna stuff them up underneath here and it's gonna fit a lot better. So I'm actually 
thinking that these are gonna be a little bit better than what I was expecting just looking at the bare pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to put that. I'm gonna squeeze that through here, get the bottom on, and then check back up with you guys. Also try and get this cover piece here and see what that looks like. Alrighty guys, and just like that, we are all set. Everything needs to be kind of broken in just a little bit, but the one thing that I do love about these new seat covers is the fact that there is no possible way to kind of pull this edge up over your uh, seat controls here. It is literally stuffed behind it. We took this bezel plate out, took this handle off. Everything is behind that. There's no way, as opposed to wrapping around it, these things cannot come off. So we got the Velcro straps run underneath of the seat base. There's actually Velcro underneath down here, which I don't believe I actually did on this side because I didn't even know that it was there. So that Velcro's to the underneath there. Um, both of these top and bottom slide through here with the Velcro. Everything fits real tight. This seat rest is really tight. Um, a little loose on the seat, not so much on the seat bottom. I'll show you guys what they look like around back here. It's pretty much, they both wrap around the side here. That needs to be angle adjusted just a little bit. So it slides down a little bit. So a little bit tweaking left to do, but overall they are in. The real question is, are these seat covers worth almost double the money from the Covercraft seat covers? Now, I am a little skeptical to say they're worth that much more money. Now, only time will tell. I haven't had these things for five years. Maybe I will love them. Maybe they will be even better. Maybe in five years we won't even have to replace them. But uh, going from the other ones, I would say for the money for the Covercraft ones, if they were more of the correct color, I would say that's probably your best bang for your buck. I know there's probably cheaper options. I really am curious to see uh, what you guys would recommend, what you guys run in your trucks. Leave that down below. Uh, I think the Covercraft ones are a pretty good, uh, I mean, mid-high entry level. These are probably the top of the line as far as price goes. Maybe they're seat, Maybe there's even more. Maybe you guys don't even like running seat covers. Now, the other thing, um, I put the top right here. Now, I left the bottom off because the bottom you can kind of see the top attaches with Velcro. Now the bottom does the same thing. The Velcro kind of comes up and spans right across the top here, which is kind of right in the way when you have to go in there and use the stuff. Now I didn't even put the bottom on because of that, so I didn't want it to look a little funny, but I did put this on for the time being. This fits pretty, pretty well. Everything is tight. So everything fitment wise does fit pretty good. Nature of the beast on this other one is the fact that it's got Velcro straps going over top, which I don't really like at all. The other one I didn't even have a cover on. So um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think. Again, this needs to be adjusted a little bit down in here to get rid of some of these wrinkles, but I don't know. I honestly hate running seat covers. I really like just running normal seats, but when you're using it for work, I really don't want to mess up my leather. I want to make sure I protect that investment. So anyway, I believe that is pretty much a wrap on LC covers. Alrighty guys, and that's pretty much gonna do it. They're just seat covers. I'm not gonna try and drag it out forever. If you guys do have any questions about either one of those, the Marathon or the Covercraft seat covers, I will try and give you the best advice I can. Leave your questions down below. Uh, we did have a ton of parts roll in for the first gen. That's what we're gonna be doing over the next couple days. Uh, trying to continue to get that truck ready for, not this weekend, next weekend, which is Motorama. You guys have heard me say this, beat this to death, but February 17th and 18th, uh, everyone's gonna be out there. It's gonna be a great time. Make sure it's on your calendar. Stop by, say, Hello, Wrenchworks Alley. Everyone's going to be there. Um, after that, guys, we're going to jump right back into the performance work. Uh, the engine for the 05 is pretty much almost done as we speak now. It's going to be a little bit of time before we can go out there and get it, spend a couple more days out west. Um, I don't know time if we're going to have time to do like a meetup out there. I'm going to try, but I'm not really sure. And we have, we've, we've had the parts to P-Pump swap the first gen. So after Motorama, I've been trying to prevent from doing that just so we know that it's together, know that it's running. After that, we'll jump back into it. And hopefully every day that goes by is another day that we are closer to winter being over. That is, that's what I'm looking forward to. That way we have some longer days, some more action, some more light. But nevertheless, another day of progress, as, as I always say here, but it's gonna do it, guys. Hit that like button before you leave, please. It helps the channel out a bunch. Subscribe if you have not already. See you tomorrow. See ya.